I mean, if we could see, if we could see the cultures through the arts, the world would, uh, you know, profit by it. Over the years, we've had a Youth and Art Month celebration in March. The invitation went out to all the schools in Orville to just uh, see if people would be interested in, in uh, taking advantage of this, this space uh, and dove dovetailing with the uh, Youth and Art Month exhibit. That was our first year. It's a pilot program. Um, the other wonderful thing is that we um, have a great contact at the Money Office of Education and Nancy Silva and instrumental in, in doing some of the advertising and outreach to schools and a new superintendent uh, who um, is really supportive of the arts and uh, actually is an artist himself and, and I, uh, what do you call it, uh, symbiotic blend of, of all these minds come together for a common idea and that is that the, the arts are important to have in, in the education of all citizens. I'm Karen Mulchen, I work at Orville High School and I teach a variety of art subjects, um, three-dimensional ceramics, uh, black and white photography, and, uh, and uh, two-dimensional art. And um, we experience various media so that they have a good cross-section of experience. And that broadens their understanding of different types of art, different cultures, different histories. Art. You know, the artists are always on the forefront. And uh, at one time, Black and white photography was thought not to be an art form, where now it's more of a purist art form and it's overshadowed by digital. But I like the fact that through the support of our district, we're able to maintain the black and white wet lab, which is a real, real experience. Not a lot of the students in the future are going to have, well, hopefully they will, but they very may not see the magic of a ph photograph appear, the chemistry, you know, aha, the big beautiful moment, which is always, from a teaching standpoint, one of the most thrilling experiences. Uh, I really believe that the arts are important to have uh, a civilized society. Uh, without it, we wouldn't, uh, uh, obviously, if you didn't have a sense of beauty, um, try to preserve that beauty, uh, you know, we wouldn't exist. Well, today might stem from the fact of lack of the arts. And then um, we also began to explore different cultural mediums through um, like the mandala. And interestingly enough, I think they find it to be a real soothing type of an activity. You can drop a pen in the classroom when they're doing it. And they not only understand more about the process of the mandala and the culture, but it helps them understand that there are avenues within art that teach them to relax and have comfort and find their own place and be a little reflective. And oftentimes with the bombardment of media that we get nowadays, I don't think the students have the time to be reflective and that's a very positive, growing activity. Um, okay, so the, you know, the arts do bring different cultures um, together if you, you can learn to appreciate the beauty that the uh, uh, immortalizing in the art. You know, there's a saying, whatever a group of people value um, um, is symbolized through the arts and the music and the dance and the dramas. There is a uh, um, legislative uh, requirement for arts to be provided for all students, but we're going through hard times and cutbacks. I don't know if the arts uh, have really been at the forefront of people's minds, and, and in my mind, I think it should be emphasized a little bit more.